Hey everybody, it's Gizzard here, Card Collective.net. We are about to break 2017 Stadium Club eBay break number four, four box eBay break number 11. All right, eBay break number 11. <clears throat> Okay, let's do it. Must have been here in the bag. There's Peyton. Just getting a little worried for a minute. Hoping that we can, uh, Sell some picker team spots. We might have to run the filler. Ah, probably gonna have to. We probably got. And Iggy lays off. That ball bounce again. Both singer loves that curveball. Loves the cutter. Lots of wrinkles. Lots of. Catcher's gonna have to get the jar out, Mario. <clears throat> we probably have yeah, 11 more extra yeah, boxes. A lot of breaking pitches. Yeah, 11. Throw it out in between the, pick, the fingers, and you just got the breaking ball. You call it every time. Here's the 1 2. Got 11 extra boxes of Stadium Club. That's it. Oh, we got two high heritage from 16. That's all the baseball left. Nick Lacey is an RBI single back in the second. Trying to deliver with two outs here. Here we go. Yes, he went around to strike three. And that one in the inning. But the Tigers get ready to the runs. J.D. Martinez still through. They have two on the back. Only five nothing lead for the Tigers. That was Bridget. She can't wear it today.
Were you able to hear me, Peyton? <clears throat> Okay, good, good. Nothing is Michael Fulmer goes back to the mound. He's got Bautista Martin Donaldson, the top three in Toronto's lineup. A lengthy sit down for Fulmer. Almost about a half hour in that uh, half inning, thanks in part to the injury to Liriano. And then he comes out and throws that first pitch fastball right down the middle at 94 miles an hour. Now the old one. How many teams are left in the first, the picker team? How many pitches he throws per inning? Through the first three innings here today, only 36 pitches, 12 for per inning for Michael Fulman. That's amazing. A really good number where pitchers love to be there. You do that, you will pitch deep in the games, and that's one of the reasons why, Mario. I heard you talking earlier he, uh, with the regularity. I mean, doesn't he's like your computer, it's so weird. And he's gone three and one now with Bautista. Bautista Seth today. Lugo on base is always around 400, but he's got a net. Black auto out of 25. Out of home run, not as many this year. That's Roll foul. Michael last year was the rookie of the year, beating off Gary Sanchez, easily beating him up for that honor. And they follow that up with an all star season this year. You see, 3 2. And he walked in ball four. Thumbs in the zone. Here's our Comerica Bank game. Subway Tigers uh, got right after it the first inning. They cast down to in the first inning. Then the Iglesias in the third. Comes out by Miller for two out. That's in the second inning. Then in the third, JD, first pitch. There's Ball. 20 left in the picker team. Two RBI single. Tigers lead five zip. Nice. Here's Russell Martin. He'll bat now with the leadoff bat out. With his foul back out of play. For the most part, these Blue Jays, they do take a lot of pitches. They try to wear down starting pitches, and they were taking a few pitches early against Fulmer, but then they quickly realized that this guy is always around the plate, so they're swinging early and swinging often right now. Now, you don't do yourself any favors if you're sitting around trying to wait for a walk uh, from Fulmer. There is the Padres auto. Because once he gets ahead of you and he goes to that slider or that changeup or even that plus plus heater. And here's a first day issue for the Pirates. Is this you, Wildcat? He's gone on two on Martin. <clears throat> this will get away from McCann. They'll throw down to second and see. He'll nice. To, uh, gather it down there. The runner will advance. Jeez. Outstanding and jump here by Bautista. As soon as he read this breaking ball down in the third, he was on the move. Nice recovery here by McCann. Ball nice away. story, Chrome. Outstanding throw here, but even Kingsler couldn't catch it. And, but real nice base running here by Bautista. Nice recovery by McCann. And yeah, they just couldn't finish the play here. Gold Gray. Man, how did he miss that? Well, I think he was trying to cheat. Get a little quick. It looked like it hit him in the heel. It did. That ball also had some giddy up on it. Oh, yeah. Good four seam backspin on that ball. That ball was so low. It looked like it This is number 11. Ball. Number 11. Oh, McCann almost threw him out there. I'm like, no, oh, it's unreal, man. Judge. You have to look at that. Uh, James got that right shoulder around just enough to keep it in front of him. Just got a piece of And Martin staying alive. Leon Rod is going to come to a point where Fulmer uh, starts to develop that curveball, and if he does, he's kind of a weapon to that be for him. Well, I think the way that he'll use that until he really feels comfortable with it. Riffy. And because everybody looks for the heater uh, from Fulmer at 94, and there's times where the opposition will ambush him, but if he's able to throw that curveball up uh, consistently for strike one, 
that will keep teams off balance, and he'll be able to get that pitch over without them swinging. So I think that's what he'll use it for at, at the of the gate once he finally feels really comfortable with it. You know, we saw some of the uh, video last night with Rich Duby. They were kind of uh, working on that grip, practicing it. Yeah, and Rob's right here. He's the first pitch, and then he'll go 1 0 when he gets more confidence when he's behind him. He'll come. Same thing, they'll be looking. Chopper the shortstop on the charge. Iglesias. That will advance the runner, one gone. <coughs> now Donaldson. I'll have the infield back here. They'll you know, concede the run with the five runs on the board. The oh, stop. So the air is not be. working at all. And it's like 100 oh, so degrees in this office. All I got are these fans. I was talking to Brad about uh, when he was a catcher. He would encourage pitchers who were working on a new pitch to kind of carry a baseball around and just give a couple of feel to the grip. It doesn't necessarily have to take that to work on that grip. You don't have to walk around. You get a feel for that grip. And that's what it was like Homer was trying to do last night in the Duggan. That's a great point, Mario. I remember as a kid, I mean, just taking up a baseball, and whether I was in Little League or high school, someone said, just kind of flip it up in the air, like you're just flipping it off your fingertips. And that's how people pretty much learn to throw the ball. So you can learn by just having that ball in your hand all the time. You know, guys, we were talking about the curveball. I don't know how you feel about this, but it appears to me that a lot of pitching coaches are teaching fastball, curveball mix these days instead of the sliders and the cutters because of the long thing that all the hitters are trying to take in lifting baseball. And that's all going north to south. In the strike zone, it's kind of negates the uppercut swing that a lot of these hitters have employed these days. Yeah, and that's a uh, pretty good theory. Is guys are always making adjustments to the people who make adjustments, so that it makes total sense. Because the fighter and the foot are pretty much just east to west and the side zone on a flat plane. Unlock, like, um. So it could be used with any um, carrier or unlock like it's got a password lock and you want to get around it. And if it's an iPhone, I don't think you can do that. The cutter, that's kind of more of a positional finger pressure pick. So that has something to do with what they throw as well. Round ball left side. Let's look at the run in. The Glacius I. No, they're not numbered, but they're one in ten. There's only ten of each. Each base has ten. I believe it's ten. Um, I would use. I would. I would just Google it. I mean, I don't think it's very hard to do. Gets around as best he can. I've rooted phones. Uh, I've rooted Android, but never iPhone. And I don't know um, if it's different with an iPhone. Smoke fly to center field back in the second. We're two gone now. A run in for Toronto. <laughs> Yeah, Michael's thrown a total of 56 pitches, 35, 95 miles an hour. Really to, to, with that to root it, and then um, <clears throat> I assume you'd have to brick or whatever you call the not brick it, um, jailbreak the iPhone in order to um, unlock it. Uh, yeah, it's not. The, uh, oh, the your phone you carrier is willing to do it? I mean, if you're allowed to do it yourself, <clears throat> I just look it up on YouTube. 
That's that's how I do most of it. <laughs> or and, or and, and read the phone forums. <clears throat> Royals. That's how I rooted the, uh, my phone. Is just read the for Android forums and the YouTube. It was easy to do, and there is unlock videos. But I don't know. I think in the U.S. there's laws against it now, so I don't know. I don't know. Athletics Healy. And Max Kepler. Pinky swear. Oh no, he's not. I always thought he was like Pinky, but he's doing the surfer do whatever. Just a reminder, as you enjoy a cold one, look forward to Miller time later in tonight's game. It is brought to you by Miller Lite. Chris Bryant. Oh. We got a bunch of guys. Castellanos got a home run first. J.D. J.D. Oh. He's had a couple of nice plays as well. Here is Kinsler. Top of the order. Kinsler, Castellanos, and Upton facing both singer. Trying to hold up. Couldn't do it all in one. Ian is all for two upon his return to the lineup. Flu like symptoms yesterday. Yeah, he hasn't played since Sunday, so it's uh, been quite a layoff for him. In a really big month of June, but it slowed down a bit here in the month of July. One ball and one strike on Kinsler. It is hot in here. What did, he, what did he get a new phone or and wants it unlocked? Or does he want them to unlock it so he can take it to another carrier? Playing him the phone and also throwing him inside. So trying to defend where they're pitching him. You guys don't have like AT&T and Verizon and Sprint you, in Canada? Third when Liriano left with an injury. The wrinkle of that one at this high with the breaking ball. Now three and one. The G staff already with five walks in this game. Mega six. Borderline there. Bullsinger didn't get the call. <clears throat> oh, you, you use Rogers and you want to switch to Tellus? season tickets and you have to four free games in 2017 plus priority seat selection for the 2018 season go to tuckers.com slash tickets or call three month grade 471 2255 looks at a strike okay uh, watching the full plate up here andy fletcher has not called many pitches at the top of the zone if your hitter don't like it up there you're going to get able to take that tonight and get ahead of the count Oh. See, that's weird. You guys have, like, limited data? That's so weird to me. Jimmy, even though the strike zone is supposed to be universal for all umpires, do you still believe that certain umpires have their own certain zones these days? I, I think it's just the way it shakes out, the way they call it. I mean, like, you were a high ball. Hey, Bo Jackson, zone. gold, the case hit. For whatever reason, I think. If they're out of the zone, that they are, you know, they, they, they do get graded. We know that they do get, they don't take discipline, but they do get reminded. That Duffy, they do though. If they don't call a certain pitch in general, it has to do with their setup. So they try to make corrections in that. 
suggestion. It's like a hitter or a pitcher when he's missing his spot. Oh, and two on Nick. Hey, Nunez photo variant. Third base side, Donaldson to second. There's one. Rita Aim. Got him at first base. Pretty good turn down there at second. Photo variant. Back in the day, you could come up a little bit there and probably wouldn't have uh, been able to get it, but Nick's not complaining. His eyes were better than mine. Here, hit when you're a runner. You can feel that foot, you can hear it loud and clear, and you know whether you're safe or out. But he was out easy. Good call. Alan Porter down there at first base made that call. Looks ball oh, but uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, see, I don't think you can do that in the U.S. You can't bring. Well, yeah, I mean, a carrier won't unlock your phone from another carrier. I think they pass a law make, making that illegal if you do it yourself. Or they're trying to pass that law. I don't know. But if you're allowed to do it yourself, I don't think it's very hard. I think you do have to jailbreak your phone, which I don't know if that's easy or not. But I'm sure, you know, there's a lot of guys that do it easily. I think. I, you know, I don't know a lot about the iPhone. I would sit on a breaking ball until two strikes for sure. I know that, uh, are you, can you, like, you know, yeah, you just have to know, though. I mean, there's very few guys really that can look for a breaking ball and then get that fastball and then still not swing at it. I mean, there's a few, but a lot of guys will still even try to get to the fastball, even though they know they've sold out for something slow, something off speed, something with a spin. I mean, could he not just go to Rogers and get a new phone? I don't know how the plans work in Canada. I mean, if you go to a new place here, you get a, you get a phone usually, you know, They're like, here, be our customer. So where Bolsinger has thrown Jay up so many off-speed pitches, he might be able to get away with a fastball here. Pull there inside the bag at third. Upton will take the turn, head to second base, and he's going to pull in with a two-out double. Came back with another off-speed. Oh, they don't subsidize the phones for the customers to get you to switch or be their customer? Man, Canada. You get free health care, but you don't get very good phone service. That's probably where they get a lot of the health care is free, because you Pay a lot for phone. Remember that? Share. All right. Yeah, I rode him for a while there. I had uh, I've had Jay up quite often this year. We need a digger though. We need to make a big move. Well, here's my guy right here. See, that's one thing about Miggy. If he just goes into that two strike. Of Don't you have like Boost Mobile? So much for me lately. I just wonder if he's picking up the baseball. I mean, doesn't jailbreaking's he legal. But unlocking your phone to take it to any carrier, I think, is what they were passing the law for. Either they're wanting to make that illegal or they did make it illegal. Big slugger this year. Hold on the ground. Oh, it's going to hit the runner. Oh, that's a base hit for Miguel, though. Yeah, he does get a hit. I'll take that now. Oh, but Jay okay, though. They hit Jay up with the foot. <laughs> well, that and the Tigers good for Rod. Still 5-1. Yeah, I don't know. Canada's laws are probably different. Galarraga. And they may not have passed that law here. They may have just been trying to.
And, you know, jailbreaking may be legal, like in the stand court of the law, you know, but most uh, c carriers will void your warranty. And... So if you have any, like, protection plan or anything on it, it's voided. And with Androids, they have, like, a system now that can check if it's been rooted. There's ways around it, but... I have a rooted iPhone right now. Uh, jailbreaking doesn't unlock it, but I think it, it allows you then to access the phone kernel to be able to do the unlocking. That that's would be my assumption. Fulmer out of fifty. But again, I'm not as familiar with iPhones at all. It'll be Morales, Kulowitzki, and Pierce facing Fulmer, who surrendered a run after a leadoff walk in the fourth. There by Ken Reeves, and the count is 1 1. Outstanding pitch there thrown by Fulmer. Kendry's obviously looking for that mid 90s fastball. Fulmer pulled the string on him with a change piece. That's 97 of the fastball career. You do have to cheat on it, even though you're ahead, don't you? No question about that. That's very hard to hit 97. And the one thing about Fulmer, though, he's going to give you a heavy dose of fastball, especially in fastball counts. It is moving, so you're, you're going to have a hard time centering that ball very heavy. Fulmer has given up just one hit in this game. That belongs to Morales, a one-out single in the second. Then he got a double play ball from Tulowitzki. Here's a 3-1. It's in there. A strike 3-2 on the well-traveled Henry. Yes. Morales. Broke into the Angels. We broke the hole. Each day of eBay's is a fresh case. Because there's only, you know, it, the math equals a fresh a case. For four breaks. Right side, Cabrera has it behind the bag. Henry's Morales is out one away. Raya. Let's mm -hmm. check in now with Johnny Key. A little more on a uh, developing relationship between Fulmer and Archer. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you know, Michael Fulmer coming back from the All Star week, he said one of the highlights for him was being able to visit with the talented right hander from Tampa Bay, talking about Chris Archer. Michael Fulmer asked Chris, hey, can you teach me your slider? And then Archer actually had a chance to watch Michael throw a bullpen uh, during the game, and he said he was impressed with it. I thought it was interesting. The fact that Archer says he watches Fulmer starts. Fulmer says he watches Archer starts. But uh, so the both guys have that, you know, slider as, as a put-out pitch, and, and Archer's been doing it for a little bit longer than Michael, but certainly taking a page out of his book. Archer wouldn't give up any of secrets, though, did he? I don't think Archer would <laughs> too much hit ball to Michael Fulmer. Yeah, but yet he was watching Fulmer's bullpen <laughs> trying to get some pointers on Fulmer's changeup. Here's the 0-1 to Tulowetsky. It's off the end of the batter with two. Yeah, who stuck with your pick, right? Fulmer or Archer? Man. Who would I take? Yeah. Michael. I take Fulmer. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I agree. With He's bigger. He's stronger. That fastball, I just love it. I mean, I love Archer, too, but I think he's a little bit more slider happy than Michael Fulmer is. And uh, I just appreciate the fact that uh, Fulmer will challenge you with that fastball more often than not. And I think Michael's probably going to be more durable as well. Based on maybe more his body type than anything else. But both pretty good. How about you, Gibby? Yeah, I take Michael. No question. I don't have the Castellanos will throw across the diamond to Lewitsky is out. Hey, guys, you know, Fulmer was talking about the slider. Here's Michael's slider. He really hasn't had the great slider all year, although these are very good. This is 90. He says he likes to throw his about 88. As you can see, it stays on the fastball plane all the way into the last second. And it darts out of the way with this guy right here. He's a slider artist these days for right-handers. Most of his strikeouts, they come on sliders. He throws it awfully hard. He changes speed with it. He throws it inside and outside. It's a tremendous 
Thanks for the minute to win for Chris Archie. I think Lee Gatlin's is around 30 some percent. Michael throwing more of all team pitches in this particular inning. Not so many fastballs. He's going to an outstanding breaking ball in change up. Changing it up. There's another change up there. It's just the second, third time around. It's just a good pitcher. Good. You see 1 1. Here pulls the foul. Could have a little bit more luck. A few more than his nine wins this year. He came in at nine and six. We take one, two. Time up. See you later. Here's the job. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of it, man. A lot, uh, half of it on eBay, half of it will be in the store. We have Optic. Next week's going to be big. We're probably going to random off the Yankees and Dodgers to everyone who buys spots in the main break. And then I, don't, I think I might put the non-sports in a filler. So that way the most expensive teams will either be one in a random for entering the break or in a um, filler to either help push the main break or any other breaks that are slagging behind. Because the non-sports is going to be, you know, anywhere on a half case, probably 150 to $200. And in a four box, probably going to be... Um, you know, 80 to 100 bucks. Yeah, buy the cheap teams, get the Yankees. Or Dodgers, because Bellinger is going to be in this too. It is game two of the series. Five one is our score. They about hit the Blue Jays six to one. And here come the Tigers now. As we go to the bottom of the fifth, it'll be JD Martinez to get things started. Rolls one foul for a big side. Martinez, then Victor, and then Mikey Matuk. Time to go through. JD big two run single. He was the first man that Bolsinger faced. Not Ian Hap, but J.A. That's a noble count, isn't it? Come in, you got a 2 0 count, you have to throw a strike. J.D. is ranking. Yeah, with the bases loaded on top. Martinez now a seven game hitting streak. The 0 2. And JD down on strikes. Is that the picker team? I guess we could uh, run a filler on it. Heck, I could add the non sports to it tonight. Here comes Victor, ground out fly out. And Bimar looks at a strike on one. Ronaldo Lopez out of tw 10. Out of 10. 10 out of 10. Nobody's swung at it yet. He's going to keep on doing it. Earlier when he came in, he could not get it over for a strike. Not Slice to left field. It's going to drop base hit. Victor hits one the other way. It's a one out single. That'll bring up Mikey Matuk. Ricky. Henderson. Mikey 
He's had a hit. He scored a run already. He's had a good day. Hazel Baker, Black. Spring training. He's a member of the team. Kind of had a pencil end of playing against lefties. He faced not many righties in a row. Right really uh, scuffled with the ball. Fastball up and in. But uh, has corrected that since the season started. And uh, is much more effective. Comes into the game today hitting 270 off the right handed pitchers. 313 with the minute score position. So pretty good numbers for Mikey Marker. The 1 0 pitch. Look at this. What's up? Huh? A little bit of yeah. stop until he gets a hold of it. Should be unlocked. Tigers, of course, they had Jacoby Jones in the spring camp. That's what it is. They're starting to get a little bit of a little early in the year. They've both been since the center of the minor league. No, he's never been really He had trouble laying up. He just had trouble laying up that one, but uh, for the most part, he's very good at not swinging that Yeah. Game. However, Bolsinger does throw that high curveball that breaks turns out of the zone and breaks in. You gotta be protective of that. Four hundred. Swing and a miss. And Montagnano strikes. I mean, yeah. Third punch out for Bolsinger. Yankees were going first $120, for four cases. Bring up the can to walk. We we have pulled one Judge Auto, a gold parallel. Right. That's awesome. That's right. Eight hundred bucks. Get base, get your legs going. Get the guys with two runs in. Lucky. Almost. These guys are a couple of four packs here. Oh yeah. And Bolsinger yeah, went to Arkansas. Four packs had those gold mint cards. That's crazy. Isn't that weird? Yeah. That's why I said I didn't know that the retail set. Yeah. Richie Anderson's one of them. I don't know how they sell, but. Pretty good. I assume good. To, there's only there's probably only four of those in a case. Yeah, that's and then you get on two finger yeah. packs at Walmart. And then yeah. there's, yeah. there's five finger packs at Walmart. Yeah. Well, All right, we have uh, Chrome Fowler, uh, Ricky Refractor, White Sox Auto, D Dax Auto, Astros Auto, Harper Chrome, Correa Chrome. Uh, Tigers out of 50, uh, Mariners Auto, Nunez Photo Variant, Bo Jackson Case Hit, Don Mattingly, shouldn't even have been top loaded, One ball, two strikes. Chris Bryant Chrome, uh, A's Auto, Royals Auto, uh, only one judge rookie in that four box, Story Chrome, uh, he out First dish, day re issue for the Pirates. Padres Auto and Mets Auto Auto 25. There is break number 11. So if he's also got a 